Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4E and welcome back to The Infected. I have got a hella busy day today, so we're just going to get to it, okay? First things first, I'm going to go out and check the aluminum extractor, okay? Which means I have to bring all of the fuel that I have. Uh, let's go ahead and make another fuel. We're really running low on fuel, by the way. Um, I need to seriously do some fishing and get some more uh, spoiled foods. So the fish, the fish is what I like to use as spoiled food. I can use other things as well, but the fish is the one I like to use the most. Um, yeah, but we need to go out. We need to get the aluminum. Uh, I'm not going to cook it up today, but I would like to empty it out and, get, you know, make sure that thing's full. Uh, this thing right here is kind of full. And honestly, I don't have a lot of time to empty this out and like, you know, take care of it really. So, uh, I'm going to leave that, that amount of fuel in there and we'll just, we'll get what we get. You know, I'll get it going again if we run out of fuel, if this fills up. I think it's going to run out of fuel before it fills up, which is what I prefer, to be honest. Uh, I'm loving the early part of this game so freaking much. It's not even funny, guys. Like, the early part of this game is just legit. Uh, just legit, man. Like, I'm having such a good time. There's so much to do. Um, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, just, I'm, I'm loving it. I can't, I'm actually really surprised at how fun it is. So... Uh, let's go ahead and make this chest. We're going to bring that up to the aluminum, just in case there's more aluminum in there than we can carry. I don't expect there to be, but better safe than sorry. And we're also going to hit a POI. We're going to hit a new POI today. Um, we're going to hit this one right here. It's a little bit farther than that one. And this one probably still has stuff in it, but I kind of want to go to a new one just to, you know, do something a little new. Uh, let's go ahead and save the game. And we are pointing the right way. So let's get out there and grab that aluminum. Whew, I feel the, the time crunch, man. Like, uh, what is this? This is still summer, but it's the end of summer. Uh, this will probably be one of our last POI runs. Uh, maybe I can fit one more in, but I really need to prepare for winter. <clears throat> now, I've, deci I've dis discovered you can craft Kevlar now. You're not really expected to get it on drops. Even though you will get it on drops, It's not. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's the, the biggest way to get Kevlar. Uh, the thing that takes Kevlar the most... To the thing that's going to be the biggest issue of making Kevlar is going to be the plastic, okay? So, um, yeah, I need plastic. And in order to get plastic, I need the mineral extractor. Uh, not the, the, that's not the mineral extractor. It's the uh, oil extractor because you use the oil to make plastic. Unless he's changed that. I don't think he has, though. I'll double check, though, just to make sure. But, yeah, I'm going to need the oil extractor. In order to get the oil extractor, I'm going to need the, the, the recipe, the blueprints. Now, I was reading on my Discord that there's a couple people not finding all the blueprints. They've scoured all of the POIs, and they did not find all the blueprints, but it was only like a couple people. I'm hoping that this is not going to be an issue. Other people on my Discord have said they have found all the blueprints. So, we'll just kind of have to wait and see. I, uh, You know, man, that would really just, just bum me out if I couldn't find all the blueprints. That'd be a real, real downer. So... We'll keep our fingers crossed and we'll think positively and uh, hopefully we will find all of the blueprints. We'll see how much aluminum we've gotten from this area. Oh, come on, stamina. I'm so excited. I don't have time for stamina. <laughs> I just want to get there. Let's go. All right, there it is. There it is. How much have we gotten? I'm hoping we got a lot. It's only, it hasn't been here for that long. Mm. Yeah, you're still going to get coal and stone, which kind of sucks. To be honest uh but it, you know it is what it is i mean you can't get too much aluminum all at once then it would just be too easy right you go like one or two days and you've got everything you need so uh we do get three aluminum oh, the thing i want to make is canned food okay and uh, we're not going to be doing this today but i'm just kind of curious uh how much aluminum cans take that's not that's not in here that's others there we go oh so one aluminum make it so we got enough for three cans so that's not too bad honestly one thing we did not need is a chest. That's okay. We're going to take that chest out uh, to the POI. Can we hit the POI right now? Mm, nah, I have stuff on me. I'd like to go to the POI with nothing. I mean, because we're going to get a lot of crap from the POI. So I'd rather go there with nothing on me. So let me take this stuff home. And uh, we will head on out to the new POI. We're going to we're gonna have to cross some water, which I'm a little bit nervous about. Because, you know, you guys know crossing rivers in this game in past updates has been kind of a... Uh, a there's no other way to say it. It's kind of a shit show. Uh, so, <laughs> so we'll have to see what's what. But, you know, we'll see. Because we're going to go there and check it out. It should be awesome. You know, I was planning on going out to the POI today. By the time I got ready, though, it was already 10 a.m. Now, 10 a.m. isn't really that late. But you know what? I can get out a lot earlier tomorrow. So I'm just going to spend some time, you know, cooking up some ores. This has to be done anyway. I can cook up ores. I can catch fish to let it rot. 
so I can make more, you know, uh, some more fuel for my extractors. There's a lot of stuff I can do today. So <clears throat> it is noon. I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing BS work. And then uh, tomorrow, we will definitely head out to the new POI. Okay, I've collected quite a bit of wood. <clears throat> Done quite a bit of fishing, which I think I already showed you. I'm uh, making a lot of this stuff. We should probably kill that sheep. Yeah, we probably should. Let's go kill him. Oh, hold on. Let's kill this one first. Come on, bro. There you go. Right in the head. If you hit him in the head with the spear, you're good to go. Alright, now I could probably throw the spear at this guy, but I've had bad luck at throwing it at animals and losing spears. So I'm just going to go ahead and stabby stabby. And he's going to knock me back, but that's okay. It's too late for him. Beautiful. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm so, over I'm so overweight. Okay. Well, it is what it is. We'll have to come back there and get that stuff. So this is what I've been doing. I'm cooking stone. I've got a bunch of wood here. Collected a, quite a bit of wood. Cooking stone. You know, the usual. The usual. What does this weigh me down? Oh yeah, the firewood. We need to put some more firewood in these things, but I need to go ahead and get that stuff first. So let's come out here and get that. I mean, like, honestly, the hide, I don't really know if the hide's really good for anything, to be honest. But I do want the bones. Oh, we got both. Cool. So, anywho, I'm going to spend some more time cooking up stone. Don't forget, we need another tw uh, 20 iron ingots to make the third extractor. And someone was uh, was telling me, and very rightly so, that you I'm actually going to need uh, four extractors total. Because you want one getting stone as well. So that is a great point. That is a great point. I'm getting a little, uh, little bogged down here with stuff. Okay, and there we go. I can barely move, but that is okay. All right, so I'm gonna continue cooking. Um, I'm gonna continue cooking stone until I get ten stacks of iron, and then at that point, I will simply put a bunch of iron in here. We'll get ten stacks of iron. That'll be our next extractor, which will go on cobalt. Now, the one we the the uh, extractor we have right now is on stone and when it's on stone we're not going to get any uh we're not going to get any um uh copper because we have a copper node here so we have to keep that we have to keep that in mind so basically the idea is you need you need an extractor for copper cobalt and aluminum and then you need one for stone as well because stone is the way you get iron so yeah you need four extractors 400 stone needs to be cooked honestly it sounds crazy it's really not that bad it's really not that bad at all. I'm having a great time. So I know you guys can barely see anything. Uh, don't worry, I'm only going to be here for a second. Uh, I came to the extractor for aluminum. And this thing does not fill up very quick. Uh, I'm used to these things filling up really quick. Because it's usually on stone only. Uh, so I brought a chest out here in case it was full. And I could just leave the chest here. I also brought out eight boards. So when I get to the POI, I can make another chest. Um, yeah, you don't, really need, you don't really need to bring a chest out here. It's, it doesn't, you know... I'm wondering on a full load on a full load of oil if this thing would even fill up if it's only giving you one thing every not every five minutes. Uh, that's a good question actually. If anyone knows the answer to that, let me know. But I did get started super early in the morning because we do have a long ways to go here, and we just need to head south at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the game, and we're gonna head out to this new POI. Uh, I should have a ton of food. I should have. Um, I got the boards. I got spears. I don't think I'm gonna need pickaxes. I do have an axe just in case. Although the axe has got to be replaced. It's pretty um, it's pretty poor, but that's okay. Uh, I, I really shouldn't need it. It's not like you have to break through doors or anything. So we're just gonna continue heading south here. Hopefully we don't run into any bears because bears are a mofo. Um, I think you could probably throw the spear at the bear and kill it, but I don't know how many spears it takes. And I'm always kind of like worried about throwing my spears ever since that. One incident where I threw it over the, the animal's head. I forget what it was. It might have actually been a bear. I threw it over the bear's head and then I simply lost the spear. Especially when I'm out like this. Um, I'm using bone spears and I'm not going to be... I can't make more bone spears out here because I think I need the... Um, I think I need the... Uh, what do you call it for that? The workbench. So, yeah. So, I prefer not to throw my spears and have the, the chance of losing them. So, with that being said, uh, if we get attacked by a bear, we're going to take damage. Now, I do have... Uh, some cucumbers with me that'll last for quite a while and those give you back the most hit points of anything uh, which is 10 which is pretty nice and if I see any more fruits and vegetables on the way out there I will in fact pick them like I just picked that melon while I was talking now I'm wondering how the rivers work in this game because before this update the rivers were kind of kind of shitty because once you got in them you could never get out so I don't know if that's the case anymore 
Uh, it looks like I could probably get out on the other side, but if I'm coming back... To, oh, yeah, I could... Yeah, so I think it looks like he's left a lot of ways for us to get out of the river, which is uh, most welcome. Most welcome indeed. I wonder if there's fish in the river. I don't think there is, but not really sure. And eventually, we're going to have to go to the middle of the map in the swamp and hunt some alligators. Honestly, I'm not really looking forward to it. <laughs> Hunting alligators is kind of... Um, it's tough, man. I mean, it's how you would think of hunting alligators. It's not easy. Also, you need a certain amount of alligator kills to get the skin. And I'm wondering if all the, if there's enough alligators in there to go there once and get all the skin you need. Because I'd hate to have to go back there twice. Has anyone has anyone gone to the swamp in this update and killed the alligators? Was there enough alligators there for you to make your bag? Let me know in the comments, please. Or even better yet, hit me up on Discord. All right, guys. Here we go. A brand new area. Look at this. All right, these POIs are pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Um, placeable storage, there we go. Okay, looking good. All right, let's check this place out. All right. What do we got? We got some glass. Uh, spoiled food, that's very helpful. Um, bark chips, eh. One bark chip isn't really that much, but that's okay. That is okay. Um, ooh, Kevlar. Nice. Less I gotta craft, right? Bandages are always welcome. I'm always getting hurt. I got attacked by something. I think it was off camera. I got attacked by something and it took, like, it, like every single body part of mine needed a bandage. I was like, give me a break. <laughs> give me a freaking break. I do, like, five bandages. It's ridiculous. Uh, dry bricks are not that useful. Melon seeds. I might actually drop some of this stuff, uh... Depending on how much time I have out here, because uh, like some of this, like the stuff I'm getting in here is, is kind of useless. All right, when they howl like that, I think that means they know where I am. So I don't mind throwing spears at these guys. Okay. All right, you. Ooh, crawly, crawly. Oh boy. Okay. Let's try again. Damn it. She's all freaky. One more time. There we go. Hells yeah. Third time's a charm, baby. Okay. We got some rope. And some sand. Alright. Well, this stuff's... I haven't got anything good yet. <laughs> the Kevlar's kind of helpful, but... I'm going to tell you guys, brightening up this... Um, the videos inside here is such a pain in the ass because I've run outside and I gotta unbrighten it up and then I gotta brighten I gotta remember to brighten it up when I come inside. I think the first thing I'm gonna make when I um start like crafting so this actually might be next video too. Uh when I make armor and clothes, I'm saving up six Kevlar for the freaking for the hat because that will give me uh that will give me the lighting I need to not have to worry about that kind of crap. Bones. Ooh, me like your med kit. Do they stack? They do stack. Okay. Ooh. How much Kevlar do I have at home? I think I have two at home. So I think I have four total now. Because I found two here. Uh, let's go ahead and drink. Oh, here, now. Every time I see these books, I think it's a, it's a, like, a, a schematic or a recipe or whatever. And it always lets me down. So I think I just need two more Kevlar. Uh, you know, I do have some oil at home and I do have some plastic. I might be able to make, I may uh, actually be able to make enough Kevlar. Uh, even if I don't find any to make that hat. I'm thinking next episode's probably going to be like making clothes and stuff and building up the base. Faux show. Sure. A lot of houses. A lot of buildings in these POIs, man. This is really freaking cool. Cucumber seeds. Uh, bones. I love bones, man. I really do. The bone spears are legit. I will use nothing else. Ooh, more oil cans. I could turn that into, into more Kevlar. I don't know how much oil you need per piece of Kevlar. Unfortunately, it might be... Well, you need the plastic, and I think it's like three oil per plastic, so it might not be a good thing. Oh, there is stuff up here. I didn't think there'd be stuff up here. That means we are going to have to go back to our original uh, POI area near our house and check the attics. Because if I, usually, if I don't see any... Um, if I don't see any, like, furniture in the attic, I just assume that it's not, like, populated. So it's kind of like an unfinished part of the POI. But, I guess that's not the case. That's very good. Biofuel is nice. A lot of bones around here. We have to call this the bone zone. 
uh, copper ore. Uh, a lot of dry bricks too. Not really seeing the need for those. Dry bricks are for like upgrading your base, but you know that's like far down. You know, far down the road. I got a lot more, more important things to, to concern myself with, right? Okay. I went upstairs, right? I went in here. I think I got all these rooms. I'm probably gonna miss stuff. I mean, it's just the way it goes, right? Okay. Uh, did I check up here? No. Nothing there. All right. Let's head to the next place. Uh, I'm starting to get turned around in here. I don't remember where my chest was. That's going to bother me. I kind of want to bring the chest with me. I think it's over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's over here. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to bring the chest with me. The last thing I need to do is be searching around here for my chest. Like it's, there's a lot of stuff in here I'm going to throw out. Just saying. A lot of stuff in here that just does not... Is not needed. Oh, so you can find stuff outside. That's the first thing I've ever found outside. So now we have to be looking for the outside areas to loot to. Uh, there we are. What's up, bro? Okay. Give me your loot. Give me my spear. Really? One feather? One freaking feather. Yeah, look at this. We're already out of stuff. All right. Bark chips can go to hell. Um, bandages. You know, I really don't need these seeds. Although I kind of want to hold on to the seeds. Because I am going to be needing a farm in different places. Honestly. I guess I don't need rope. Rope's pretty easy to make. And it's taking up a lot of room. Okay. Now let's check out this place. Animal fat. Uh, I'm not taking plant fiber. Ooh, mechanical parts are very useful. Not taking plant fiber. I've got so much plant fiber. Plant fiber coming out of my ears back at base. Uh, iron fragments, sure. I'll take iron fragments. Uh, anything up here? Nope. This is a small, small room, huh? I wouldn't even call this a building. This is just a tiny room. Holy moly. All right, fair enough. I got a little turned around in here too, so I'm not sure if this is the way I'm supposed to be going or not. But this house looks interesting. And look, they have some mail. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm leaving the doors open, so I haven't been in here. Or have I? Wait, I am leaving the doors open, right? Yeah, I haven't. I wouldn't have left bones there. Uh, I guess I'll take seeds, since I'm going to need them for future farms. But honestly, I really don't think I need it. I need seeds that much, but... Fish oil, huh? I forget what that's for. I mean, I think it's something I can get. I don't know. I'm, honestly, this isn't the time to look into it. Uh, empty. Ooh, an empty can. Beautiful. That's basically like finding a um, aluminum ingot. So that's nice. Okay. I don't see anything else in here. Uh, we will go upstairs. I did see it. I'm just kind of making sure the downstairs is uh, searched to the best of my ability. Okay, let's go upstairs. Where is the upstairs? There it is. Oh, here we go. A properly furnished upstairs. I love it. Uh, mechanical parts, huh? Okay. That's going to be very helpful. Dude, those mechanical parts I need for, for that um, uh, the automatic saw bench. If I can get like a couple mechanical parts and a couple of the other parts, I might be able to make that circular saw bench without actually like, you know, without too much trouble. So, we'll see. We shall see. I will take a look at it when I get back to base. Uh, all right. I'm not leaving here without a freaking schematic, damn it. I'm not taking rope. Like, seriously, where the hell is the schematics, man? Where's my schematics, bro? I don't know. I hope I'm not walking by them. That, that must be frustrating for people watching. Where's the schematics as I walk by one, right? <laughs> but, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh my god, this is really starting to fill up here. Um, really starting... What do I need fish oil for? Here, let's take a look at fish oil really quick because it might be something I want to throw out. Others. Um, fish oil is glass and raw fish. I can get... I'm pretty sure I can make glass just by putting it... Uh, putting sand in the wahoozy what's it. And I'm pretty sure I can get sand pretty easily too. Let me take a look really quick. Uh, glass is melt 10 sand in the forge. And sand is small. Yeah, I don't need glass. 
Uh, what is the fish oil for, though? That's what I don't remember. I think it's for the light source, like that first light source you can make. Oh, hold on. See, this is not the time to be doing this kind of stuff. But I want to know what I should be taking with me and what I should be leaving. So let me look into that fish oil. So as far as I could tell, the main thing I would want fish oil for is the lanterns. And honestly, the lanterns are pretty shitty. At least they were last season. I don't know if they're better now. But the fact of the matter is I can make fish oil back in my base, you know, pretty easily. So I'm going I'm to leave it. I'm going to leave it here. And it takes up a lot of room in my inventory. So that's also kind of annoying. So let's come on over here. Let's check out this. I'm not leaving here without a schematic. I don't care how long it takes. At least one. I want to find one schematic. Uh, biofuel, yes. Iron ore, yes. Tallow, yes. And let's see what else we got in here. Uh, iron fragments, yes. More iron fragments, thank you very much. Iron fragments are good. Empty can is very helpful, and they stack. So that'll help. Uh, got um, what is that called? Copper? I don't have a problem saying copper. Uh, clay. Yeah, I'll take clay. See, the thing is, um, you can get clay by bashing up clay nodes, like, out in the world. But they don't respawn. So, you know, clay will eventually be a bit of a pain in the ass to get. Alright, come on. There you go. And you're done. And I got some sand. I don't need that. All right, so I think I got everything downstairs. Probably not, but I'm going to assume I did. Okay, uh, there was an upstairs, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So what do we got over here? Kevlar, beautiful. More mechanical parts. I think we're going to make that headlamp. That headlight, whatever you want to call it. That hard hat that has the light on it. Hopefully it still has a light on it. But, I don't know, I'm just assuming it does. All right, put this stuff away for all the stuff that stacks. A lot of this stuff does stack, which is nice. But we're starting to get a little filled up here. So let's come on over here. I'm, getting, I'm also getting turned around really badly. I don't remember where I've been and where I haven't. Pretty sure I've been in this one. Nope. Nope. If the, uh, all right, I'm just going to stab this lady. If the door's uh, closed, then I haven't been there. All right, watch out, sheep! There's there's vambies around. I wonder if vambies eat sheep. You think so? Hmm. Why not? Right? They've got blood. Oh, you freaking guys! Come on now. Jeez. I wonder if there's more of them the longer you stay here. You know, you kind of want to get your stuff and get the hell out. Oof, I'm not carrying that. I'm not carrying that. Come on. Okay. Alright, let's check this place out. Come on, give me one freaking schematic. Iron. Oh, plastic's nice. I'm getting good stuff, I'm just not getting the schematics. The oil, oil cans are extremely helpful. I love the bones. KJ48 loves the bone. You heard it here first. More med kits is nice. Iron fragments are helpful. Cans. So we're getting a lot of good stuff here. Just not finding any schematics. Biofuel. <laughs> Sheep came inside. <laughs> that is hilarious. Is this place up and upstairs or? Yep. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Oh, man. We get a lot of oil cans. That is sweet. Until we can make the oil extractor, getting those oil cans is very, very helpful. Oh, my cat. Dude, I think we're going to make that circular saw soon. Is it called circular saw? I think it is. Whatever. The super saw. I'm going to call it the super saw. Because it is freaking dope. Oh, God. More electrical. We need the electrical parts, too, for that, by the way. Oh, bark chips? Get the frick out of here. Those things take up a lot of room, too. <laughs> freaking bark chips. Oh, yes. yes, yes, yes. Okay, still not finding schematics, though. It's starting to make me a little nervous. I feel like I'm missing them. I don't think I am, but... I guess it's possible I could be. Okay, I'm seeing some interesting buildings over here. Hopefully we'll find something in here. Oh, boy. Yeah, we found something, alright. Found some Vambies. <sighs> 
Okay. Alright, not finding anything interesting in here, though. What I get from him. I don't know, I didn't look. Whatever. It's all good. Alright, might be some stuff in here. Alright, copper ore. Biofuel. Don't need that. Ugh, I really don't want to fight a bear. Bandages. Uh, oh, electrical parts. I need more of those. I don't have enough electrical parts to make the circular saw just yet. Although, I don't think they take cobalt. I'll check later, but I don't think they take cobalt, so... That would be nice. Looks like there's some more buildings over there to my left. Right, this is going to be a long episode. Because the hell with it, right? Let's check out these buildings over here. I'm not, I'm not leaving here without, without some tech of some kind. Oh, look at this. What is this? It's like a barn. Oh, cool. A barn with some silos. Oh, God. Hold up. Damn it. He's running at an angle. I never should have thrown that thing. That spear's gone. Alright, this is getting real. Okay, come on. I don't see my spear, man. Where'd my spear go? Really don't want to be looking for it. Where'd the other, where'd the other guy go? There he is. Can you actually, like, run away from these guys and they kind of forget about you? Or <laughs> that was kind of weird. Oh, there's my spear. Beautiful. All right, let's check out this place. Animal fat, oil cans, coal. You know what? I don't need to be wasting time or space on coal. Uh, or plant fiber. I do like animal fat, though. Man. Where all the tech at, bro? Let's head back to the houses. They seem to be better... Uh, looting opportunities up there. I wish there was kind of like roads between these houses because like I'm getting confused Really confused on which houses I've been to and which I haven't um, I, I guess leaving the door open is a pretty good indicator if I've been there or not, but I Don't know still uh, Let's take the watermelon seeds leave the fish oil take the bandages L Leave the gun take the cannolis take the actually I don't need glass right why do I have an arrow? I'd really like to keep the arrow, but it's going to take a... Wait, is that three arrows? Never mind. I'm going to save the three arrows. All right. Well, as long as I can. I'll save the three arrows as long as I can. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. Eat some more. Let's go ahead and have some hit points back, please. And some vitamins. And let's go ahead and drink. And let's get some carbs. There we go. Animal fat. More uh, health kits. Potato sprouts. Glass I don't need. I probably, this is probably the glass I dropped, right? Okay. I better find some tech soon. <laughs> getting antsy. I'm getting antsy with the tech. Watermelon seeds. Hmm. There we go, finally! Oh, and it's the fridge. That's the one that my friend in Discord was telling me they couldn't find. I mean, the fridge tech really doesn't do me any good right now. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, that's okay. Well, at least it's something, right? I kind of want to look for more tech, to be honest. What tech am I missing? Um, pretty much all of it. <laughs> pretty much all of it. Okay, well, it is what it is. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep looting. Let's go a little... Man, eh, I, I really... Man, I just want to keep looting, but it's actually getting pretty late. I have to run back with a chest in my hands. So I think we are going to call this one here. You know what I need to do? I need to I need to write down somewhere which text I like how many texts I found in each place. I found two here and one here, right? I have three total. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, somebody write that down. <laughs> All right, guys, I am going to call this one here though. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, nope, that's not how it works. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.